YouTubers and Pokemon fans, welcome to Carrier Pidgey Express Polls, episode number two. Uh, if we can get through these quick enough, this is all the old mail I have left from old channels from like three plus years ago. Plus I have one off screen here because it's got address on the back and stuff. So uh, yeah, if you want to send new stuff, well, doesn't have to be new stuff. But if you want to send anything to us, that is the new P.O. Box address. Make sure you include the FCBM so I know that's that and not like a return or something like that from the online business and stuff like that. So uh, again, these are old ones that might not all be Pokemon. A lot say Pokemon specifically, but we'll just get into it here and see what happens. Anything that's been sent to the new P.O. Box address will be shown in this series after this pile is done, either in this episode or the next one. So let's get to it. Uh, first up, off camera here, I'm opening one that's from a Steven in Australia, which I think is just a letter, so this one should be pretty quick and straightforward. So, all right, there we go. So we got the note. Let's see here. Dear Amino3, I'd like to know where you get your Pokemon booster boxes from Steven. P.S. How do you know how much the cards are worth? Well, I get all my stuff through distributors, well, almost all my stuff, except for like the Target 3-pack blisters and stuff. But booster boxes, I get through distributors, and we sell them on our website, thepokecapital.com. Uh, how you know what they're worth? Uh, go off of eBay prices to get you a rough estimate anyway. Um, there's other websites and stuff too, but I mean, for like most current prices, I just say go off of eBay, because any individual site uh, will vary and stuff, depending on their, their um, supply, demand, etc. So, uh, next up here, here. Um, doesn't send the envelope who it's from, but it is, uh, it's airmail. It's, uh, from Singapore based on the stamps. So someone in Singapore, and it specifies Pokemon, I think I saw a second ago there, so that should be Pokemon related. Let's see here. Let's see. So, second, first, a bunch of basic, and then we got a bunch of rares and reverse hollows. So pass me a little note here. Dear Pokemon Cars 24-7, against my old channel, so that's what most of these are for. I love your vids. This is the FCBM. These are not great cards. I just started collecting them. Hope you like them. By the way, uh, the paper tour ball is writing by Xavier1941. So thank you to Xavier1941. Let's see the one that says first here. All right. We've got a mile. Okay, I think that's Call of Legends, but I could very well be wrong. Pharaoh Seed, Emerging Powers, Coughing, very cool artwork there, Mischievous, Hitmonchan, Houndour, and another Houndour, and then a second here says a bunch of rares and reverse hollows. Let's see, we've got Seviper, Seviper, needs a little work, uh, Braviary Hollow Rare from Emerging Powers, Bronzo Reverse from Next Destinies, a Feral Thorn, Emerging Powers. A Dark Persian. I don't know if this is a real card or... A, it, I think it's a sticker or something. It's not a real card. Whatever it is. Not sure. Still looks kind of cool though. It's obviously a little darker, like the white for the colorless is darker than it usually is. Uh, Coffee in Reverse. Weavile. Nuzzly Reverse. And a Scraggy Reverse. Very cool. So thank you again, Xavier1941. Let's keep things rolling here. Let's kind of toss the access stuff to the ground here for now. So we got Please Do Not Bend. Uh, this is from someone named Kale. K-A-Y-L-E. From uh, Louisiana. Looks like uh, this one's extra old here. Uh, this one was sent November 5th, 2011. So this package is nearly four years old. So like I said, I don't want to get into the uh, new mail we've got in the new peel box until I catch up on this old stuff because otherwise it will always haunt me. So hopefully it's better late than never. All right, ooh, I have a booster pack in this one even. I don't know how I've kept this stuff sealed for so long. Let's see. Let's see if there's any, um, no, it's not personal information. It's just Tiger Tanks Offshore Rentals it's on. Oh my, let's see here. So, dear Pokemon cards 24 7, 
Thought you might enjoy these cards. Sorry I couldn't resist opening them. Okay, so they're open packs. That's totally fine. But they're all there. Uh, finally finished my black and white series, one and two. Can't wait till the world victories. Gives an idea how old these are. Uh, comes out on November 16th. So No Victories came out November 16, 2011. And was the next set coming out when this was sent. <laughs> Enjoy watching your YouTube uploads. Look forward to getting the emails when you post them. So again, this is from Kale. Uh, hopefully you're still out there and watching. Hopefully you get to see this. I hope. I obviously have no way to like really reach you. So, yeah. So let's see here. Uh, Triumphant Call Legends. Let's do Triumphant first. Like I said, they're already open. I don't know if I need to do a pack trick or not, so I'm not going to. We'll just go right through them here. We've got a Shuppet. I love the artwork in some of these sets. Bellsprout. Illumis. Spoink. Volbeat. Electrode Reverse. So Patrick has not happened. So I'm going to go like that because this should be the rare right here. Got Machope. Licky Licky. Neat Arena. And then again, the Reverse Electrode. Uncommon. And the rare is a Carnivine. Let's see, so he's hanging off a branch and using some sort of poison attack or something looks like. I don't think he's using Saliva Lure or Stick and Absorb, unfortunately. Again, I love it when the card's artwork matches the attack name. I just think that's really cool when that happens. I feel like the shell will be that way, but... Anyways. Three and two, I believe, for Call of Legends. And we have a Coffin. Trade on the previous FCPM2. Mareep. I love lambs. Tangela. Eevee. Teddy Ursa. Flaffy. Wow, two lambs in the pack. Awesome. Darkness Energy Special Energy. Uh, Sviper, which was also in Triumphant, I believe. Uh, Grand Bowl. That's a rare reverse. And a Mr. Mime. My Mime. So very cool. Thank you very much for that. Again, Kale. Hope I'm pronouncing that correct. K-A-Y-L-E. Let's see, we're already at seven minutes. We're not going to get through this whole stack in this one, I don't think. But we'll see, we'll see. Let's see, next up, this one is from Patrick and Cheryl from Oklahoma. Looks like... Um, looks like this might be from 2013. The stamp isn't, like, all there, so it's hard to tell, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, so we got letter. Please do this on video. All right, will do. Oh, got it taped here. Keep going. There we go. All right. Doo, 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 doo. So this is dated December 16th, 2013. Dear Pokemon Cards 24-7, I have always been a fan of your videos. Here are some free cards I sent you. They're not the best, but here you go. Sorry for the bad drawing. There's a big Pokeball. P.S. Would like to trade sometime. Also, I don't have a YouTube name. Uh, just FYI for everybody, I don't do any online trades at all. It's mainly just an issue of like time constraints and stuff. And be that a lot of the cards that I personally have are for like inventory and stuff where condition is very important. And I don't know what kind of condition I'm gonna get in return. It's just best that I just don't do trades. So that is that. Let's see. So we got one and two. I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to first. Uh, Pokemon cards usually has a better chance of having higher rarities or whatever than energies and trainers. So maybe I'm going backwards, but we're gonna open energies and trainers first here. Sorry if you wanted to be the other way around. Maybe there's like a really cool rare one here. Who knows, but we'll see. All right. So we got a Switch, Pokemon Communication, Charon, Switch, Metal Energy, Grass Energy, Fire Energy, Fire Energy Upside Down, Fire Energy Right Side Up, Psychic Energy, Psychic Energy, Psychic Energy, Psychic Energy, Psychic Energy. <laughs> Felt like a broken record there. All right. So let's see what the Pokemon cards are. The trainers are still Pokemon cards as well, just they're not po of Pokemon. You know? Yeah. Alright. Venipede, Darumaka, Whirlipede, Tetadile. I wish I could do Tetadile's voice. That's why I want I wish I could do. Shinx, Basculin, Mean Fu, Staravia, Vulpix, uh, Simiseer, that's a rare. Growlithe, Gathita, Sigilith, uh, not a rare. Woobat! Pan Seer and a Slowpoke. Alright, so thank you very much. Uh, I think I already threw the envelope on the ground. Um, um, what was the name? Uh, that was Patrick and Cheryl. Thank you very much. Let's see, we are at 
10 minutes. Ooh. Well, let's do at least one more here. Uh, this one doesn't have a trainer dress either, but it does specify Pokemon. It says Toy Game and Emporium on the front. And Pokemon in parentheses. Da -da 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 -da. So, again, don't know who it is yet. Looks like might be some fake cards here. But they're still kind of cool to look at at times. See, hey, I have sent you some of my Pokemon cards. I don't need them. Can you please put this vid on YouTube? David CM Punk the Great. So, if they are still on YouTube, check them out, I guess. Hopefully they still see this as well. And that just helped my tour off. All right, so, let's see. Yeah, these are, I think, all fake. This one definitely is. That one, maybe. Yeah, so we'll go through these pretty quick here. We've got a Mesprit Level X non-foil. Yuxi Level X. Heatran Level X. Dusknor Level X. Electivire, that one might be a real card. Mamoswine, not real. Let's see, Darkrai, Regigigas, Dialga, Palkia, Kyogre, Gyarados G, Torterra, Typhlosion, Empoleon, Feraligator, that's not real either. I'm, yeah, it's not real. You can tell based on the energy symbols, especially how big the water symbols within the circle. Uh, Gyarados, that one might be real. Heatran, Salamance might be real as well, and Skunting. I think three real cards are the rest fake. And just full disclosure, uh, moving forward, uh, like I said, not every pack to open will be guaranteed to be seen on this series. Uh, any of its, you know, fake cards and stuff like that, I probably won't show every time. Um, if they're really cool looking and stuff, maybe, but we'll see. Uh, let's do one more, one more. Let's grab one off the top. We'll save these four biggest ones for episode three, I guess. Let's see, this one comes from... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully we'll know once we tear into this here. It is Pokemon though, I know that much. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, it's stuck in there. Alright, so it's on there. It looks like there's like a note there. Kinda, sorta. Let's just demolish this envelope and see what we can figure out here. Yeah, there's like a note outside of the envelope. Let's see if we can figure this out. Ooh, boy. This might be a lost cause on, on the note here, I'm afraid, because stuck to all sorts of tape. Um. Um. Oh, oh, are we, are we in? Are we in? Let's see, let's see. Uh. One more time. Yes, we're in the note. All right. Dear Pokemon Cards 24-7, I first am sorry for the first FCBM. Hope you can forgive me. Honestly, I'm not going to remember what the first one was. I am one of your biggest fans, and I hope you like my card. Yours truly. Oh, boy. I do not know what that says. J-K-H-U-2296? I, I can tell the numbers for sure. Um, so yeah, that, that channel, potentially. So check them out if you can decipher that. All right, and then we got open last, hollows. Open second, open first. All right, let's dig into this here. It's probably another 15 or so minute video at least. I guess I don't need to salvage the paper here, so just tear it as best we can, like a Christmas present, I guess. All right, so we've got, those are some interesting sleeves. Let's see the others, like two in each here too. So we got Sandile and a Throw. We got a Rock and Rolla, Bulldor, and then flip them over, we got Gigalith and Cover Fossil. All right, open second, Reverse Hollows. Let's see. These are tricky, tricky, tricky. Uh, I am making a mess all over the floor. <laughs> And all right, so we've got Revive, Saw's Buck, Reverse Rare from Black White, Basculin, a Joltik, Lipard Reverse Rare from Black White, Stunfisk, and a Swoobat. It's another Reverse Rare from Emerging Powers. And then Open Last, Hollows. Let's see. All right, we got into that one a lot more easier than the other ones, I think. All right, we got a Zekrom, 
BW005 Black Star promo. Just gotta flip it over to see there's two cards or not, because some do, some don't. Oshawott, BW03 Black Star promo. Oh, nice. We got a shiny Ho Oh from Call of Legends. Very cool card. Those are very fun to get. Very nice. Thank you so much. Let's see. Some more Call of Legends. We got a Lucario Hollow with Dimension Sphere. Is that the attack he's using there? Could be. So, A plus on that card art right there. We got a Snivy BW06 and an Oshawott BW08. Got Crocodile, which based on the foil, I'm guessing is from an Emerging Powers theme deck. Very cool. Oh, a secret rare Pikachu from Black and White base set. I can't remember the pull ratios on that. I think it's one per three, maybe one per six box case. So very awesome. And last but not least, we have a Hulkia and Dialga Legend. The top half of that. Very cool. So again, couldn't make out the username or whatever, but thank you so, so much for those cards. Very awesome. Especially the Legend, the Pikachu, and I always love those shinies from Call of Legends. I want to try to find some more Call of Legends packs if I'm cheap enough just to try to get more of those because they're very, very cool cards. So, we're at 16 plus minutes, so I better cut this off. Episode 3 will be these that you see on the screen. And then episode 4 and beyond will be all new material from recent submissions via this P.O. box you see there. So that's all for episode number 2 of Carrier Pidgey Express Polls. Please subscribe, rock smash that like button, visit our website, thepokecapital.com. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Pokemon opening goodness.